Welcome to Bedford Bulldog Gymnasium. Division one matchup between the Bedford Bulldogs and the Nashua North Lady Titans. I'm Chris Cameron along with Mike McGowan. Mike, what do you see in tonight's matchup? Well, Chris, I see this as uh, kind of an instrumental game uh, for Bedford to see where, where they measure up in terms of teams that I think will match up with them well. This is supposed to be one of the better teams in the state, I think a five or six team in Nashua North. And of course, Bedford you know, certainly is the number one team. And how they play tonight against the, this team, I think will determine a lot about kind of where they stand in the mix. Okay, so I, I think Bedford's gonna look to jump out early, which we've seen all year. And can, can North answer that bell and settle down and, and, and play relaxed and play poised? Looking forward to a great matchup. Yeah, it should be a great matchup. back at Bedford Bulldog Gymnasium for a Friday night matchup, Division I matchup between the Bedford Lady Bulldogs and the Nashua North Titans. Bedford comes in at 3-0, Nashua North at 2-1. Uh, Mike, not knowing much about Nashua North, uh, seeing they have a 5'10 freshman, a 5'10 sophomore, and a 6'1 senior. So they have some height, but young and inexperienced. Um, and kind of when you, when you see the Bedford girls, as you're very familiar with them, it's kind of the show that never ends. When they get when they get running, they're fun to watch. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, Chris. They uh, they have a very strong front court. That Nashua North last year had a, graduated several uh, players from their front court. So it'll be interesting to see how the uh, the younger girls that they've replaced those players with uh, perform tonight. And that's right, uh, right off the bat. Two steals for Bedford and two layups. That's just that's that's what we we saw a. a, a in the previous games that we've covered, and I think it's going to be a story that we're going to see all year. One thing that we saw against Central was they missed a lot of layups. Um, and nope, this is going to be their third steal in three possessions. Bree Purcell with, with steal, pushing the ball up. Mackenzie Brown down in the post, kicks it out. Yeah, they really haven't got to where they've even had to like uh, set up and press them. Uh, wait till you see that. That'll uh, that'll do damage. I know like uh, Taylor Choate is uh, a big time guard with these guys with Nashua North, but her uh, sister, uh, who apparently is not in the roster, uh, I guess doesn't play anymore. Or I don't not sure what happened. Maybe she uh, transferred, uh, but uh, she is not on the floor, and that was a big part of the lineup last year. I don't know if you remember last year, Nashua yeah, North gave uh, dealt uh, Bedford a uh, loss. It uh, I, I would I would note that was it, at, uh, it was at North, right? Yeah. It was at North, and uh, Haley wasn't playing, which yeah. uh, and and you know how that is. You, you, you mid season, um, it's hard to stay up for everything, and I think they just let down a little bit. So that that's game. one thing that we've seen from Bedford. I mean, not to you, you really to, to when they win games by 30, 40 points every game, you got to pick on the little things. But one thing is we saw they missed a lot of easy layups. But when they are forced to play half court offense, that's where they they don't seem to be as in sync, and they don't. They don't seem to be as effective in that. You can see right now they're not even playing um, Allie Glennon. So Allie Glennon knocks down a 16-footer right there. They're, they're choosing to just let her, you know, you got to pick your poison against this Bedford team. Yeah, they're, they're uh, Chris, they're three steps off her on something like that. She's an uh, yeah, excellent girls shooter. Playing, yeah. Always has oh, been. Is she a good shooter? Oh, yeah, excellent shooter. And uh, uh, I think she's going to play at uh, St. A's next year. Yes. And uh has been a solid player since she was a freshman. I mean, I'm sure before that, too. Jump ball, I would have thought... Yeah, Bedford ball off the tie-up. So far, Nashua's had five possessions, four turnovers, and they've gotten one shot off. Yeah, yeah, I'm hoping for Nashua and North's sake, this isn't a repeat of what uh, the Bedford girls did to Girton. They started out, I think, 24 nothing in that game. That was, yeah, that was ugly. Um, and, it, you know, it could have been even worse. I don't think Bedford played their best in, in that game. Yeah, to be, to be honest with you, I look at this team and they are, they return just about everybody. 
And uh, this, is, this is where Bedford's at there, boss. Give it up. Get it back. There we Haley go. Driscoll on the lefty layup right now. So yeah, if you so the eight nothing, all their points have come on layup. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. then the alley go in and knock down that, that jump shot. But they're at their best when they're running. Yeah. Um, and you know, great, great transition team. They, uh, they 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 run really well. They're all athletic and they're all basketball players. So it's a tough combination in a you know in a in a scenario where a lot of the teams come with three or four decent athletic players that can play basketball, but then that's it. The, the, these guys run with, you know, seven or eight deep like that. I mean, you've uh, right got a there. few more coming that are going to blow your mind, you know. A little pick and roll right there from Allie Glenn down to Haley Driscoll. The classic uh, right at the elbow. Uh, going to the line for the first foul shots of the game. Haley Driscoll shooting two. The foul, the first foul of the game was picked up by Emily Kendall. Nice smooth release. Take a video of that to teach you how to shoot a free throw. She kind of shoots it on the way up. Yeah. It's kind of like. But look, look, yeah. but watch the body. The body yeah. is oh, yeah. the same every time. A little, little bit of hands, not much. A lot, lot of players make the mistake of using too much hands. Yeah, 2-2-1, two, two, full court trap for Bedford. Someone from north has to flash to the middle right here to break yeah. that. But everybody's just disappearing. There's someone in the middle. They're going to have to knock down shots. They're not going to get many opportunities. But when they do, they're going to have to knock them down. Yeah, I was just looking at uh, number 12, Sarah Cordova there was in the uh, was in the backcourt for North and uh, did a nice job. Um, I think took uh, a Desi Okori there, missed her shot, followed it. You're always taught to follow your shot, and she uh, knocked it down for National North's first two points. Allie Glennon misses a, misses a runner and picks up a frustration foul right there. Oh, no, I was on, sorry, on Rachel Collins, her first foul of the game. Checking in for the Nashua North Titans is number 20, Aliana Nelson. You wonder, Coach Oliver, um, you know, you only have five timeouts a game, and there's going to be points in this time where he wish, and during this game, he wishes he had 10. Uh, you know, he was just kind of looking, and he, he knew, you kind of know what's coming, uh, but they have to adjust, I think, to, to the uh, to the uh, press offense. they they got to do a better job breaking the press. What do you think about it? Yeah, I, I figured that's what they prepared for because Bedford, like you said, they're a transition team and they generate a lot of their points off of the press. Um, it would be real easy to scout them and see that that's what you got to break. I just, I'm just not sure if they have the personnel or not for it. Um, like I said, Taylor's sister used to play on this team, and that, uh, that, that, that's one that could help with that. They had, that was one last year when I watched the game. They did a nice job with uh, Taylor Choate's uh, sister is not on the roster. And uh, they had last year between that and I think a senior that was on their squad, they had a, a reasonable, they did a reasonable job of breaking our press, although we still did damage uh, last year with it. So uh, it be interesting to see if they've got the, the personnel to fight with that. Looked like on that, in a first possession or two, they got a shot. So yeah. let's see how it goes. Right out of the gates, they were down 6 nothing. So let's see, now Bedford set, they, they trap at it. It's like a 2-1-2, two, two, like old school trap in the middle. Looks like they're, it's almost a oh. kickball violation there. I didn't see it. Um, Nashburn North inbounds, side court. Someone's gonna have to help. They're getting, that's gonna there be a dangerous go. cross court pass. That's, that was a nice play. Yeah, nice little ball movement. They, they caught Bedford on the back side there. I, I think that's where you can take advantage of uh, Bedford uh, at times is if you move the ball quickly across the court, um, they don't seem to respond to that like some other teams do. But they'll certainly do things like yeah. Mackenzie Brown Mackenzie just Brown did there and do the, do the wow. same thing to you on the other end. You don't see, that's, you know, Nashville North, you can see they're not comfortable playing fast. But, you know, that's, they beat Bedford down the court there. They they. They had two runners down the court, but they just didn't convert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lack of hands on the back end there, and uh, I suspect we're going to find that they're two or three or four deep versus Bedford's eight or nine. Yeah, Bedford's going to put nine. Bedford's going to play nine, ten players. There they go again. That's the second time in a row. They're beating. Oh, and they, that's one of. The, if they're going to stay in this game, never mind they, win this game. They got to convert to those chances like that. But that's two possessions in a row where they've beat Bedford down the court. And, uh, I mean, I can't imagine that uh, Coach Thomas is too happy about that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's kind of early, and it's 12-4. to 4 And, uh, yeah, they are fast. The National North girls are fast. Uh, uh, Taylor, in particular, is real fast. But um, if they throw 
two bodies on her uh, later in this game. They'll stop that. So right now, Nashua North is in a man-to-man, -man checking into the game of sophomore Nikki Tucci, number 20, and junior, number 24, Gabrielle Hunter. Nikki Tucci coming off the bench, firing. Good touch, just short, straight up. There's Allie Glennon with a nice oh, rebound and a put either, back and stayed with it. Or, yeah, they got the travel call right there. Did you think that was a travel? I'm not sure. She went up and down, yeah. Yeah, she did, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah she's quite she, a player. She, Nikki Tucci was quite, yeah. quite a ball player. So what are they in right now? Oh, straight, straight man, it looks like, for Bedford. Yeah, uh, yeah straight man and non-press. I think at 12-4, at to 4, they're giving him a break. But but Sue will mix it up. Sue's very good at mixing up the yeah, defenses. So you'll see a lot against later. Against BG, they ran about five or six different defenses. That's an extra step there, but she got away with it. No help defense by yeah. Bedford. I, I don't consider that an extra step in my uh, definition, but all right, I appreciate that. I watched you play. You don't either. The extra step. <laughs> Timeout. There Coach we go. Thomas. She doesn't and like see, the flow. Once again, yeah. The, once you force Bedford, it, I mean, if you're gonna, it's easier said than done. But if you got to slow them down, make them play half court offense, that's your only chance. I, I don't yep. see. Yep. Stop yeah. them in the transition. You like you said, you got to make your, you got to make your laps when you get your transition opportunities. And then I think the other thing they're going to have to do a lot of with the, uh, with with really the younger. Uh, front court that they have is doing an excellent job of boxing because our front court is real solid. I mean, yeah, it's yeah, long, probably the best big, that there yeah, is. Long and big. And then I think you got you just have to limit your turnovers. I mean, that is very, very important. Yeah, I don't want anybody to tune out, but I'm expecting this to be like a 20-point halftime lead. That's At one my point, prediction. they were on pace to score 100 points, but that's they haven't really, that hasn't scored in the last four, two minutes. So. Yeah. Yeah, they'll pull back a little bit. Uh, Coach yeah, Thomas they, they is play, real good about that, waves. about not against Central, not they, showing anybody they, up. They play in waves. Yeah, yeah, they do. At some point this season, they're going to be challenged, where they're going to have to play 32 minutes. Well, th this is what I'm wondering, really. Um, this team is um, this is the fourth fourth tie up, tie up forced by National Titans. It's going to be their ball in the alternate possession. Let's yeah. see if Bedford uh, Bedford comes out. They're dropping back right now. Looks like a one call. We see man to man, right? Uh, nope. It's just, this is yep. Straight man. Yeah, Chris. I wonder who's eventually going to challenge him. To be honest with you, but I don't want to do this too early uh, in the game. But nice runner there. That was a nice foul move. on Nikki Tucci, hoop by number 23, sophomore Desi Okori. She, she looks like she has some quickness and some ability to get to the rim. Yeah, and and finish with the left hand too, which was nice. If Dave asked me last game, like, who, who's going to challenge him, and I did a little research, it looks like Londonderry might be the team that I see as being the the, the, the challenger. The yeah, I think that might be the team. Uh, the other teams that were supposed to was this team tonight, Nashua North and Girton, which we noted earlier. They, they took a 24-0 lead and never looked back. So, I mean, you never know. You can catch them on a bad game. Yeah. They might be better than that, but that's how we started. Yeah, pretty good crowd here tonight. You got some Bedford basketball girls players, and the you know the the doghouse is kind of full, so it's a good good crowd for a Friday night game. Oh, that's a jump stop. <laughs> I guess they're uh, letting them play there. So yeah, 14-6 with 150 to go in the first quarter, and another there strip there. And it, oh, Ooh, I wonder if that's a foul. Yeah, that's oh, a it's foul. a late call. Yeah. That's Nikki Tucci's second foul. That's kind of a tough yeah. call right there. Coach Thomas, hopefully she lets her stay in and play here. That was just incidental contact, but I think it was a correct call. Yeah, it was like uh, she was a li little upset she got her pocket picked on that yeah. one. But um, good that, I mean, it. it's a good player playing against her. Taylor does a nice job. He's got quick hands. Oh, boy, that's a tough pass. Yeah. They got to wait one. Y y you can already see they're starting to put pressure on the main guard, uh, Taylor Choate, and they're, they're going to force the others on the floor to... Uh, Take care of things. A little pick and roll right there. No switch. Yeah. Air ball. Rebound by Gabrielle Hunter. Allie Glennon pushing. Bedford doesn't really have numbers. North Shore North, after the start of this game, they're getting people back. They're really getting back. Jump shot. I think something they could do, Chris, that would help them is they need to slow this game down a little bit. I know they like to run, but they might be better off if they slow this thing down a little bit. Give them a better chance yeah, anyway. To, if, if they can get in the... You know, after the first quarter, down by nice backdoor play there. That's a great play. That was play. awesome. A little backdoor pass, great play by Taylor Choate. 
to, to a Corey once again, a little backdoor play. Bedford plays at aggressive defense. They had no help on the back side. Yeah, I thought she even got fouled. Yeah. I was surprised they didn't give her that. But, you know, it's one of those you keep your feet on the floor, maybe you don't get the call. Mackenzie Brown's really improved her stroke from last year, which she was a great shooter last year. This year she's deadly. Her and Rachel Collins are just pure yeah. shooters from the outside. 17 yeah. feet in. Yeah, she's great. Elbow down, great follow through. Three-pointer by North. There we go. That looked like a good <laughs> shot that missed by a ton. A little bit long. There we go. Now, now there's Mackenzie running the floor. Oh, I don't know how that stayed in. Yeah, I don't think it. I don't think it did. I don't think it did either. But <laughs> rebound. They got six. But that's okay. Oh, oh God. Let's see what he calls it. Yeah, calls it this way off of off yeah. of the North player. Um, Checking back in is Haley Driscoll for Mackenzie Brown. Give her a little extra rest. Um, Nashua North looks like they'll line up in a two-three out of the out of bounds underneath. Yeah, that's a good way on an inbounds play to start. It's a nice, safe defense. It works pretty well. Ten seconds. I thought she would take that one. Caroline Conrad for three. No. Yeah, she needed right. to get that shot so off. Otherwise, I think she would have so rotated a little bit more. So after that first minute and a half, Mike, where Nashua North fell behind 8 nothing, they played six and a half minutes. They played them to an 8-8 game. But that's what we saw with Bedford is they play in waves. They come out, fire it up. Um, so we're going to take a break right here after the first quarter. It is 16-8, Bedford. All right, here we are back. Start of the second quarter, Bedford inbound on the ball, up 16-8. Nashua North comes out in a little trap right here. That's a good cross court. Yeah. Like that, it was a little high, so she wasn't ready or else she would have been catch and shoot. Bedford has their stats. That was little, McKenzie. Yeah. yeah, that's a reach over the back right there. Foul on number 31, Abigail Streeter. Abby, she's, she's got size. She's 5'10". Um, freshman. She's doing a good job on the glass. This looks like it's going to be a set play for Rachel Collins. Nope. Nope. Inside out. Yeah. Yeah, a little thin, little thin inside in the front court on covering that. They, they should have been able to defend that. They had three players in there, but... That, that's one of the weaknesses in the zone is sometimes they look at each other instead of just going for it. Coach Oliver urging his sophomore guard, Adesi Akori, to take her freshman for three. No good. Good job boxing out by Bedford. And again, Norris is getting back, making Bedford play half-court offense. Yeah, the last few shots, I think, when uh, Coach Thomas uh, took over here and, uh, and discussed this with these guys at uh, one of the timeouts, they were, they were talking about uh, the types of shots they were allowing. And if you've noticed, in the last four possessions, they really haven't allowed a reasonable shot even. There's Taylor Choate with the ball. Good help defense by Haley Driscoll. Drew a nice double on the yeah. help. Excellent. I, I agree with you. North, maybe that's what they're coming out here. They're going to slow it down a little bit. Yeah. Take time off the clock. And one. I so think once again, Haley Driscoll, she came over to help, but there, there needed to be help defense before that. Uh, so that makes the score 18-10 with 6.28 to go in the half. Yeah, I, Chris, I think for uh, North to have a reasonable chance here, they need they may need to slow this thing down, and they're going to need to get some of our front court in foul trouble, which is... Uh, yeah, even, uh, so, even so, you got Bedford has so much I know. Where that, that might not I be. Know. I know, it might not help you <laughs> that much, but, yeah, but yeah, at least yeah. you've got to get them off the yeah, floor. Yeah, I mean, McKenzie would be the one that's really irreplaceable. Like, I, I don't really see that they have a cover for Mackenzie Brown. No, they don't. I mean, they are not really going to her much, but if they want yeah, to, there's no. In the I mean, block, they're not going to her, but she's uh, she's been knocking them down from 15, 17 feet. She can kind of do whatever she wants in this Could've. one. And then Haley Driscoll's a tough cover for any team. Yeah, right. there's a three missed by Ali Glennon. Haley Driscoll on the offensive glass. She'll be shooting two, 18-11, 6.07 go. All right, yeah, and I don't want to pick on their players, but that's uh, Streeter and just a lack of box out, really. She had no reason not to box out, and that's what that's what's going to cost them these points. Haley will make them both. wonder if Coach will talk to her. Yep, there we go. I'm going to pull her aside. No? I guess not. Oh, yeah, no, she is. Okay, or he is. There we go. Two for two. I predicted it. 
20 to 11. That's a pretty easy prediction. Yeah, well, she's is she 90% shooter on the year? I must. It feels she's like it. Yeah. I mean, that's a pure stroke right there. Just, you know, again, a little bit of hands, the same, a lot of body on that shot, but a very, very repeatable. Taylor shows she's 0 for 4 from three point range, but she's around the rim. It looks like a good stroke. That's another jump ball. This one's going to be. There we go. That's going to be Nashua North ball. Gabrielle Hunter checking in for the second time today. Yeah, Gabrielle's a nice player. Oh, she's yeah, got she's a lot of aggressive just abilities. Just man. It takes, it takes a true jump shot. There's oh, a few yeah. players that takes a jump shot. Yeah, yeah. you don't see that among girls no. that often. You get a handful of them that take a true jump shot. Whoa. A little back. All right, here we go. Bedford and man-to-man -man again. Oh, that's going to be a tough yeah. pass right there. It was, a little, it was a little flash cut, but not a lot of room. Again, a missed layup there. By we got an injury right here. Oh. What do we got there? I think oh, she yeah, took an elbow go. to the face. Number 12, sophomore, Sarah Cordova. Yeah, and Sarah's been a big part of their ball handling in the, yeah. in the front court. So it was I think an inadvertent elbow. They're going to need her. Pretty young, I think she's going to be a pretty good ball player. Is so already, really. So yeah, North and uh, a couple of these teams. You know, this is one of the better teams in the state coming in, coming into this. So it'll be interesting yeah, to see how this works one. out. One loss was to BG in a tight game. Oh, and I have to apologize, Chris, on my comment on uh, Taylor Choate's sister. Summer Choate is actually graduated. I had it backwards. I was thought Taylor was the uh, older one, but apparently she was the younger one, so she is already gone. So that's why she's yeah. not playing. Mackenzie Brown challenging underneath. On a, De a Desi Akori's shot. Oh, oh going almost a steal there. Hung that pass, but not enough. Let's see, this is, you know, Bedford right now has that nine-point mm. lead. But it was 18-8 after one, so they've only scored two points in the first four minutes of this. You've given two shots. Two shots. Again, again, they're getting, this is the first time all year we've seen players being able to get to the rim uh, against Bedford. Yeah. I think, I think that's one thing they got to, you know, their help defense is, is the quickness of Taylor Choate. I could see how, you, you know, her sister having two two guards with that kind of quickness could create some matchup problems. Yeah, yeah, we we had trouble with that last year to, to some extent. They would get inside. Although I don't remember them drawing as many, uh, as much contact in the uh, front, yeah. um, in the front court as they have today. But, uh, and then they've got a few others have gone down there as well. So, you know, that's what they need to do, though. They're going to have to do that to stay in this game. Oh man, yeah, that's you gotta make free, you gotta, you gotta make free throws. Exactly, <laughs> man. You gotta make free throws. It's like making layups, you making free throws. I mean, that could be a know. reach right there. Well, that's good hustle. They came to play. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah they're they're pretty that's a, gritty. That's a kickball. They are gritty. They're pretty gritty they're around pretty the gritty. ball. We're a little 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 tougher fighting for the loose balls than Bedford yeah, is. I mean, Bedford. I mean, if, if, you get, if North could have had any one of a, you know, North scored three points in, in the first four minutes of the second quarter. If they had, you know, they score. Eight points, or six points. You know they're they're in this game. They're still in it. You know, and real, you know they're only down by nine right now. Um, and Bedford scored two points this quarter. Yeah, yeah. I mean they're able to get inside right now, Chris, without really any outside game. They haven't threatened. Yeah. Now North hasn't threatened Bedford from the outside no, yet. If they I, had they, one, they had one knockdown shooter, it would be a different yeah, game, maybe. Yeah, I haven't seen a shooter out there. Yeah. So who called that uh, timeout? Looks like it was called by Bedford. Yeah, Sue, I think she, Coach Thomas, recognized that her team's just a little bit flat right now. Yeah. Out of sync. Yeah. I think you're right, a little flat, not 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 fighting for the loose balls. Uh, Coach Thomas will notice yeah. that quickly. And she did. She took a couple possessions, and she said, okay, we're going to talk. We got 20 to 11, four minutes left in the first half. I think Taylor Choate is going to bring the ball inbounds when we get going again. Uh, number 13 for North is DeRoche, Brittany DeRoche. 6 1. Uh, 
She's a big girl. Yep. She's she a big girl. Yeah, she's and, and what is Mackenzie listed at? Well, Mackenzie should Mackenzie's six, six one feet, at yeah. least. Yeah. Oh, um, is she bigger than six feet? Yeah. I feel like she's yeah. maybe six two, but yeah. she's right around there. I don't know what they list her at. There we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah North a little penetration, little inside out game. Oh, that's a foul on Rachel Collins right there. These fouls a mountain. That's the sixth team foul right now on Bedford. No one really. Nikki Tucci has two. Rachel Collins might have. That could. Uh, that's her. That's her second foul. So. Yeah, the good part for Bedford is uh, I think North might have made one free throw so far. So yeah. it doesn't look like they're uh, too skilled at that. Bedford's in a little half-court trap right here. Oh, there they're giving goes. up the middle. Oh, they're just killing themselves with layups. Who's that I on? Is I that didn't a North see a foul? foul there. That was yeah, that was on 13. That was That's on uh, DeRoche. What number did he call? I think it must have been DeRoche on a reach-in, or no? It was... They haven't posted the foul yet. Uh, I, I don't think uh, DeRoche, even though she's McKenzie's height, I don't think she plays physical because they didn't match the two up. That's a nice little up and under. And under 13. Oh, they're, looking, they're gonna push. Just needed a head fake. Yeah. That's a nice little shot. Yeah, they are, knocking, they're looking to run whenever they can. That's uh, Kara Upton with the hoop, senior Kara Upton. She's one of the better lacrosse players in, in the state in Division One. Yeah, this is probably her two sport, right? Yeah. Basketball's great for lacrosse. That's a runner by Rachel Collins. Nice. A pull-up yeah. jumper from... <laughs> not, not even square to the basket. Yeah, you got to love that. Well, she's a shooter. That's so. a great touch, yeah. You know, you normally, it, yeah. you normally don't recommend that kids take that, but that, that's a shooter. That when kid can take that. She's got touch like that. Now, this is... Uh, that's a foul on Caroline Conrad. That'll put um, North on the line. Shooting one on one, but what is the... Yeah, who was the foul? Was it on Conrad? Okay. So we have a timeout. Must be uh, a TV timeout. Didn't do it at the four mark, right? Yeah, so uh, the other the previous foul was on... Yeah, that's Caroline Conrad's first foul. Uh, so one... North has certainly, after that bad start, they've adjusted, and part of it could be some adjustments by Coach Oliver. Part of it is just nerves settling down. They've handled the press. They've reduced their turnovers, and they're getting shots. They're not knocking their shots down by any means, but if they start knocking their shots down, you know, they can make a game of this thing. Yeah, yeah, it could be the type of team, too, like being young like this, that uh, you know maybe they struggle a little bit at times today, but... By the time we get to playoff time, maybe they would be, be quite a bit better team. At a new Tend to be the court, yeah. Yeah. All right, Adesi shooting one and one. 22-13, just under three minutes to go in the first half. That's a good looking stroke. 22-14. There we go. They need her to take all their free throws, you know, just it's got a nice uh, nice release. Yeah, some of their three point shooters too, Mike. A good that's a good stroke. Right there. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great yeah, release. Yeah. That's the first time she shot, I think. Seven point game. I wouldn't let these guys hang around, that's for sure. You never know. Oh, that's yeah, that wasn't a great pass. Nope. That was Courtney O'Connell. I missed her checking in earlier. Yeah, that was too, Courtney. It was uh, Gabby's pass. And yeah, yeah you, I think you uh, throw a coaches. pass through two lanes. You got to, that's a tough pass. Looks yeah. like Bedford's just in man to man. Yeah, yeah, you get to watch uh, Courtney play here. She's real athletic. Yeah, uh, she's got she spring. is. Spring, she's got some jumps. Oh, yeah. That's genetic in their family. A little pick and roll. That's a tough. <laughs> Mackenzie's so big in there. You're not going to. Oh, that could have been a foul right there. She got away with one. Yeah, I don't know if you. I don't know if you know. I mention it every game that I do. Uh, Courtney's uh, cousin is uh, Jake Lehman from the University of Maryland yes, basketball. Yes, I know you're a Terp fan. Yes. Just have to give him a How's, give him a little the, shout out. The team themselves is a jump ball possession. Bedford. Uh, I know Terps are, as a team aren't doing that good. Is, is he starting? He, oh, he the, starts. Yeah. yeah, he was their leading scorer. I think oh, he still it? is. Uh, he's he's That's underperformed. Sophomore from Massachusetts. Or, right? or he hasn't. The team has underperformed. Jake's actually played very well. Um, they just they got they got some talent. They just haven't done much with it yet. But still time left in the season. That's and and they're still <laughs> she didn't lower her shoulder. That's kind of a flop right there. Yeah. 
But that's, yeah. you know, McKenzie's been hanging out 15, 17 feet from the basket. I think they got to look to get her the ball on the block a little more. We'll pick and roll right now from North. Got that one inside off the dribble. I mean, she can do yeah. a lot more of that than yeah. people think. She's a really talented player. 120 to go in the first half. Nashua North down nine points. Playing a little bit better after this. That's a, oh, a lot of the show. Oh, that could have been oh, a foul. That was an over the back. That could have been a foul, but that's a. Well, you just let them play. Wow. Oh, oh wow. Carolyn Conrad with the block. Yeah. They got two. There we go. Out. Nobody back on D. You That's can make an extra pass here. Yeah, Courtney. And there's Courtney yeah. with That's the, the finish. To, That's the way to run the court. So Courtney and McKenzie, those are your two big guys the two running big, the, the floor. Two, the two bigs leaked out. <laughs> you know, both of them. Nice extra. That's you know that's one yeah. with this Bedford team is a very unselfish. I mean, I mean, if that's what you're up against, your two bigs out running you up and down the court, you're in trouble. The crowd is not happy with the officiating tonight. Um, they're riding the refs all night, um, and kind of a mock, kind of a Bronx cheer right there. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's uh, that's Dave, and uh, Big Dave is a solid official. I've watched him around. I'm sure you have too for many years. He does he a does nice job. Every middle school game, you know. For the boys and girls he's, over, he's, over, on the other side of that wall right there. He's really so, a high-quality ref. And and three, steal by three. North. They have 28 seconds. If That's they can it. get this down to single up, oh, there's a bump foul by Allie Glennon at midcourt. That's so... Adesi will be shooting one and one The last time she was at the line, she knocked them both down. Yeah, Bree kind of forced that one. Forced the ball inside there and uh, didn't didn't really have an opening to dribble or to pass. And yeah, uh, sometimes she does that. She gets caught underneath. She has great vision where she can get out of it sometimes, but that time she just had nowhere to go. So quick that she gets out of it a lot and uh, just didn't wasn't quite there on that one. Oh yeah, so we gave uh, yeah. jump ball possession arrow to North. And now North will probably with 22 seconds. Just look to hold for one right now. If they can get in, if they can get to halftime in single digits, that's that does a lot for the psyche, for the confidence. They they've done themselves no favors by not. They have not knocked down shots at all. Yeah, they really haven't played well enough to be this close. So, yeah, I'm like, sure Coach Thomas is going to talk about that at halftime. Oh God. Ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Are you going to agree with me on that one? Yeah, I think I got to give you the travel on that one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Even though I like that move. What do? It, that's the windmill, by the way, That's a which foul. is a really yeah. nice move. But That's you need to keep yeah. the ball lower to get away with it. See, they just did themselves, you know, it, that's got to come from the benches. You, you want to hold for that last shot. You don't want to give Bedford an extra extra yeah. chance there. You want to hold for one. So now they come down, they commit a foul, put Bree Purcell on the line shooting one and one Now this lead can all of a sudden, instead of being single digits, it's going to blow up to 13. Bedford and knocking down their free throws. They're and a very the good free throw shooting team. They're hitting nothing but net. This this is the best Bedford free throw shooting team I've seen in a while. Even this virtually the same team last year. These girls didn't shoot free throws as well uh, last year as they did Half this court year. Shot. <laughs> She's been around the rim all day. All right, so at halftime, 28-15 Bedford over Nashville North. A much closer game than I think anyone expected. So we're in for a very good second half. We'll be back after the break. All right, welcome back for the second half of the Division I matchup between the Bedford Bulldogs and the Nashua North Titans. 28-15 at half. Uh, Mike, we saw Bedford jump out as expected to a quick 8-0, 12-2 lead. North had no clue how to break the press, and all of a sudden they took a timeout. Coach Oliver, he made adjustments, and what, do you th what does North have to do to, to, to stay in this game, and what does Bedford need to do to to pull away? Um, I, I think Bedford needs to go back to uh, where they started and uh, to try to run a little bit more and play some transition ball. I think they they kind of pulled away from that. I don't know if Coach is just working on uh, half court. She might. Uh, but that's what they would need to do to pull away fast. Yeah. So there's Mackenzie Brown missing a little layup. Rebound by Brittany DeRoche. Three-pointer for, oh, they're, they're just, they are having a tough night. I don't know if they're a better shooter, but that was Abigail Streeter, the freshman, 5'10 freshman. That was one of their first real open looks. There's Mackenzie. She's deadly from that range. Yeah. Right she misses the layup and knocks down the. Is that uh, a three? It might even just inside, a three. Just inside, just yeah. inside the arc right there. Um, 
Yeah. Well, look at the difference in those two shots. The freshman from the other team took yeah. one with the elbow pointing out elbow, and fling yeah. the thing over, and McKenzie no took that nice smooth yeah. no rotation hand on the follow ball through. Too. Looks automatic. Nowhere to go with the bigs right there. They nice. got they're leaking players out. They got two, three players deep. There we go. There we you got go. transition. There's yeah. another one. There's your transition. Oh no. <laughs> Kenzie having a tough time with the layup yeah. right there. Just needed to gather herself there. Yeah, exactly. Could. Set her feet. But they're leaking players out because they can, because they don't have. As a, yeah, she's just a little quicker than the, than the Bedford guards. Yeah if, yeah, if I look at the floor right now for North, I see three guards on the floor. And I think that's what they're going to do to to counteract, you know, the Bedford pressure, the Bedford press, the transition. And But in return for that, they're going to have... Uh, they're really not going to have much in the front court to be able to play with Mackenzie and Haley and Alley. Nikki Tucci checking in. She's uh, been quiet this game, mostly because she's been on the bench the whole second quarter with uh, two fouls. That's Rachel Collins' third foul. Oh, that was number three. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Nikki's. Yeah, Nikki's quite a player. I think you'll see more of that next year when this uh, when this large class graduates. Uh, yeah, Dave. We we talked about it at the BG game, but. I said that BG, against BG, we saw Bedford, um, their second five, I think, would be a top four team in the state. Yeah, yeah, that's it. When you let, I mean, when you let someone like Nikki run, I, I, I yeah. mean, I don't know, there aren't a lot of guards around the state that can play with her. I mean, look at her there. She, yeah. she took it down She's low. very good around she, the glass, yeah. She, she knows there. where the other player is. She knows how to finish with somebody big on her, but her. she changes speeds, direction. She can shoot. Nikki, she, she went straight up there, so that, that's a good job on her part. The runner by Bree Purcell. Yeah. I thought that ball might have been off of uh, North, but they gave it to gave it to Bedford. 32-17, 15-point lead for Bedford. Oh, yeah. That ball handling skills right there by the freshman. This is If that one went down, this yeah. thing was all but done. Oh. Yeah. These guys are getting sloppy. Look it up. Yeah, gotta, there we go. There's an easy up. bucket. Make sure you follow it. Yep, that's why you got to follow it. I think Coach Oliver is going to have to uh, yeah. get a timeout. Nikki Tucci Good got job, hammered Nikki. on yeah, that. You, you teach players that. <laughs> yeah, she did get hammered. She's not getting any breaks tonight. Yeah. Well, it's but, 32 yeah. to 17, yeah. right? So yeah. for all the young youth players out there, you, you got to, anytime there's a layup, even though it's wide open, you got to follow because yeah. layups do get missed. And that was a good job by Nikki on that. Yeah. And, and if you're winning by a lot, no matter what they say, you're not getting the call. So no sense in looking for it. Kenzie Brown, good yeah. position. A nice job in position and boxing out there. Look to move that ball up, not with the with the pass, maybe a little more. Good drop off pass, yeah. Haley Driscoll. Oh yeah, this is kind of where you could see the intensity. Just got they came out of the locker room a little bit more energy, a little bit more focus. Now they've blown this. They double them up, 34-17. But you're right, Coach Oliver's got three timeouts. He might have to use one pretty oh, quickly. Absolutely, should have by now. He's made a mistake by waiting this long. Because the game's yeah. over. Now. Yeah, look at this. They're leaking out. Look up. Look up. Good pass by Nikki Mackenzie Brown layup. Yeah. Now's they, the time for the timeout. They're just they're just running them into the ground. Yeah, I don't know if they're tired or they just lost their they lost just, their uh, lost recipe it. on who on how they uh, handle flow and who stays back and where the players are on the floor. That's this way he needs that, a timeout yeah, to fix yeah. that. But yeah, they, they this is where you got to stop the bleeding. But again, they're getting to the rim. They're getting to the rim. Let's see who Coach Thomas takes out here just to see. But National North is doing a good job. They haven't knocked down a shot all night. Yeah. Mackenzie Brown has. Oh. That's the first one she missed. Yeah, it's a good call by the ref there. There's too much time and too wide open. She's better off yeah. if somebody's hanging on she her. She is. <laughs> we don't have the official stats, but she's you know easily in double digits right now. I think she's their leading scorer tonight. With Haley Driscoll probably right behind her. Nasher North in a 2-3 with the ball out of bounds underneath. Oh, nice that was a nice pass. Yeah. You see how she Very looked nice off pass, her defender? Yeah. She's got the complete game. So Gabrielle Hunter to the line to shoot yeah. two, 36, 19. I, Nikki was actually counting on Gabrielle uh, stepping in on that. And she the did. To the hoop, yeah. It's like she almost tricked her own player, but you know, it's the kind of skill that's there. Nice touch. This team's a very good free throw shooting team. No matter what, I mean, just a great free throw shooting team. 
Yeah, Gabrielle's got some nice shooter spin. That nice shot. Now, is this she, a lot of these girls play AU year-round, Mike? Um, yeah, I think a number of them play together. Um, I think, like, Mackenzie and Rachel definitely play together. Um, I think the younger girls, uh, Nikki and Brianna, that's play their, together. That's their first shot they've knocked down. That, oh, actually, Kara Upton, that's her second shot she knocked down. Yeah, that is. Now, that does, is. does Coach Thomas, what's her practices like? Do they spend a lot of time on team stuff or individual? Like, do they work on a lot of individual skills at practice? Um, I, I don't really know, to be honest. I think they work a lot on defense. A lot of defense, uh, yeah. Coach Thomas is a big, uh, big fan of... Uh, uh -huh. Of a real strong defense, and you can see it. You can you see know, it. But you I'm, see I'm it impressed by just their 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 shooter. They're all great shooters on the line, uh, and that's not something that just happens overnight. You, you know, you practice on your own. I know you, you don't get better. Yeah, they all, they all play yeah. AAU ball somewhere, yes, and that's where they're picking that stuff up. But um, so so they generally come as freshmen, you know, with some level of shooting skill that's that's pretty good or or not, depending upon who it is. So right now it's forty to twenty-two. And on the line, shooting two, is Emily Kendall. She did a nice job knocking down two. She drew, She did a good job. I, I, I mean, it could have been the principal of verticality. It looks like she jumped back into McKenzie right there, but she wound up getting the call. Got yeah. Got the line, shooting two. Nikki Tucci, yeah. scoreless for the first half, comes in the second half, and then it's like, remember Vinny the Microwave Johnson? Where yeah. Come in, uh, she comes off the bench and she number, just... Number she, 15 for the Pistons. Uh, yeah. She's got six points. She's got six points within two minutes of play right now, or three minutes of play. Um, but that's a good job, Haley Driscoll stepping in. Uh, she does all the little things for them, taking the charge right there. I think that has been a point. You said Coach Thomas likes to work on defense. I haven't seen much of, of the stop of the penetration, the bigs helping out down low. But there we saw it right there. She stepped in, took the charge. Yeah, sometimes when you get big leads, it's real hard to keep them focused defensively. Yeah. But I think Coach Thomas does that better than anyone I know. And uh, um, I, th I think this team for the last few years has, you know, has really reflected that. There's Nikki again, yeah. eight, eight points. Did you see how she cut? She changed yeah, speed. That, that's an old-fashioned give and go right there. Yeah. Did you see the uh, the jump shot on the earlier shot? A little jump shot down yep. on the baseline there. NBA jump shot. There's a foul. Yep. Yeah. A little good late, good ball, Caroline good Conrad. ball she, movement she there. Wrote, yeah, they did move the ball well. Bedford rotated down. I think it was Caroline Conrad rotated down just a split second late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was tasked. She she looked like she had rotated twice by then. So uh, they they really the National North moved their uh, the National North team moved their defense very well there and used a bounce pass at the end to finish it. it was nice. Okay, we then have missed the free throws. Aliana Aliana Nelson shooting two misses the back. Rim on the first one, second one is up. And back iron again, but gets the there roll. There we go. One out of two. That was worth it. Cut they just need, they, they need to get back in control. They need to get this back to a half-court game and start start pressuring. Oh. Yeah, there's an automatic. Oh, oh. another layup. <laughs> How's Brie Purcell's outside range? Uh, she's a good shooter. She's a good shooter. Because you see her, she, she, you know, she's great around the rim. I mean... Yeah. She's got great vision, great around the rim. I just haven't seen her knock down many shots. Yeah. She's a good shooter. She needs, <laughs> um, she needs right? to be open. Oh, okay. You know, because yeah. she yeah. shoots pretty low she's and she's not low, a big yeah. kid. Taylor you know, there's a couple of them have jump shots. Oh, it could have been a travel there. Oh, <laughs> I think that was a push on the back. <laughs> I would say Nashua North being on the road, they can't complain about the calls tonight. I mean, that was, that was this girl, is this... um. Is it 13? It, no, 15, one? Emily Kendall. She's, she's how what's she listed as right now? She's listed five as 5'8". Five eight. Eight. She's given up three three inches to everybody. But you know what? She battles. She battles. It looked like she, you know, again, I thought she drew all the contact right there with the Bedford player, Haley Driscoll, was just standing right there. That was Haley's second foul of the game. Yeah, I mean, they have a 6'1 player in DeRoche, and Emily Kendall is who they matched up against Mackenzie Brown. So that, that shows you what they, yeah. they feel like as far as the defense. White ball. So we got two minutes and 29 seconds to go. North, who was hanging around uh, in the second quarter, down by 13 at the half. Now they find themselves down 19 points, 44 25, with 225 to go in the third quarter. Right now they're showing a little 1 2 2 half court trap. This is one of the. There's a nice pass. Did you see that? 
Oh, yeah. yeah, this game is getting a little bit chippy out here. I think the refs were letting them play early, and now you're seeing that uh, they're pushing a little bit here. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, now yeah. already yeah, Bedford's got four fouls, and um, National North has four. I this mean, is the first time into the game. Sorry about Mike. This is uh, Letty Hibbert. Oh, yes. Um, yes. The five foot nine junior knocks down the first one. We've seen her. She's been getting. She's getting you know limited minutes, but every time she does, she seems to have a real very good stroke. She seems like a you know good shooter, good size, good shooter. Yeah, nice free throw She'll toss. Get bigger. Aggressive kid. Plays hard. Oh, wonder which way they'll call that. There yeah, we go. That the was right the right. Call. That was the right call. Right I'm sure. Call, yeah. I'm sure, he was thinking twice about it with that lead, but it was it was pretty clear. Bree is so quick off of that That's first an air step. Ball right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't see too many of those from Nikki. It looks like she just either slipped or she didn't set herself. Almost looks like. Yeah. Look, look. I, I don't think Coach Thomas was pulling her from missing that shot. I think that Courtney was already coming in right there. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, I think so. Looks like she steered that shot. Yeah. You know, you know, shooters do that sometimes. Oh. Oh, that's Nick. You know, they, they did a good job breaking the press. Is that a jump or a foul? I would have thought they it was a foul, but they. They gave him the jump call right there, so it'll be Nashua North inbounds. She put the ball down low, needs to get her elbows out. Then you get the foul, so yeah, they hit your arm. Look up, look up. Uh, she gonna save that? Wow. No. He almost did. That was yeah, quite. You gotta put a little air underneath that pass right there. She had her open by I, about. I was impressed she could get to it even. Fast, it's deceptive, and real, real fast. Real quick, too. Oh, good combo. Yeah, there we go. Caroline Conrad did a good job jumping the passing lane, forcing the player to throw the ball out of bounds. Yeah, don't don't you feel like uh, if Bedford wanted to, they could have pressed like this the whole game? They just, yeah. They've uh, just done yeah. it in a few places. Especially just with to their be nice. yeah. They would wear Nashville North out because Nashville North has played looking down the bench. You know, they have they have 11 players there. I think they've really only played eight, but mostly they've just yeah. stuck, they've stuck with the starting five. Yeah, and it's a younger team too, the North team. But I, I don't think they really have enough uh, shooting talent to even even with some age yeah, as the season goes. I don't think they'll be much of a threat later either. I agree. That that's their problem is they they, they need to deal with knockdown shots because they don't really have an inside game. But they got some slashers in the guards. Where you getting to the rim, Gabby Hunter? Yeah, complete Just lack the, of complete yeah. lack of box out there too. Yeah, I think part of that though was the the um, Bree was able to penetrate and they had to help. Look at that. That's a nice move. Taylor, that was Schultz. Taylor. She's getting to the rim all night. She's they, they'd be focusing on her more if it was a closer game, I think. That's one of the things that Dave and I talk about is that you got to push yourself each game, each practice to not play to the level of the competition. It, it's tough. It's easier said than done. Oh, it's, um, it's, it's a lot easier. Said, I, but, you know, you have to because they're going to have just about every game this year is going to be like that. Yeah, I, I feel like that's one of Coach Thomas's strengths is she coaches defense so well that uh, even when you get into one of these blowouts and they let down a little bit, she doesn't allow it to go for too long. I'm not saying it never happens. It does. It happens to all teams. But she she controls it better than most, that's for sure. Lefty. That's a nice move. Yep, she's very strong around that Used ring. her body to yep. shield that, made it an easy shot. They look up. Ooh, yeah, there's a yep. foul. This game's getting a little. They weren't going to call that unless she went on the floor, yeah. so it was good Sometimes she went you get down. Tripped, you just got to go down. Allie Glennon hustling to come in. She's probably checking in for Brie Purcell. What do we got? 28 seconds left in the third quarter. 23 point lead. Yeah, what do you What do you think? Would they have to play seven more quarters for uh, Nashua to get to 50? No, I'm just joking. That wasn't well, nice. Nashua North. We saw this game. We didn't see. The, we saw the the boy. We did the boys game last year between North and, and Bedford. Uh, but if they were able to knock down some shots and get maybe Commons get on a roll, you know, they could keep this game somewhat respectable. But right now they're in the. You know, this game is going to be close to being down by 30. Here comes another half quarter. Well, that's not going to work out. No, but she just ran out of room. 
Now what uh, Nashua Norris going to need is on off of their penetrations to to get some shots. And like you said, they they don't have they don't seem to have the shooters. But that's that's the combination you need when you can get penetration like that and kick it turn out. Turn it but and they have kick no it out. Kick it out to the knockdown yeah. shot. So after three, we have Bedford up 50 to 27. That was a very impressive quarter from as far as an offensive because uh, it was 28-15 at half. So that was a 22 point quarter right there. Yeah. That's what they're capable of. The first quarter they put up, you know, 20, 24. Um, so they, they, they play in this game in runs, and that's what they're that's what they're capable of right now. And it, like, you said that at the beginning. Yeah. That's what they do. They play. There was a run right there. They came right out with uh, about a 12-0 run or a 10-0 run or maybe a 12-2. Yeah. But So I think what we'll see in this fourth thing. quarter is Bedford will just focus on their half-court defense. They'll probably run when they can, but I think you'll see a lot of players get some playing time right here. Yeah, I think it'll be work on plays and work on defenses and switching defenses yep. too, because it's very important to be able to switch defenses on the fly and and yeah. so on the it. on the floor right now they have their starting lineup: Les Bree Purcell, Nikki Tucci, subbing for Nikki had a very um, productive third quarter with it might have been eight, ten points, you know, w within the five minutes that she played right there. Yeah, she only took a couple of shots, pretty much made them all, except for that one air ball. That was, uh, I'm sure she, all, all girls hate air balls. But guys, I don't think it bothers as much. No? <laughs> I had two daughters that played, and they an air ball is an embarrassment. I, I don't really think it is. It's, sometimes you get an easy rebound off it. <laughs> oh, that's a tight. Yeah, that was a tough pass. Right there were three yeah. players there. So Bedford's in there, man-to-man. -man, they're... Man-to-man -man defense, a little pull-up. That was a good fight there. Got that away Dara from Haley. Upton with the ball fake. Look at this, three chances, four yeah, chances. That was a oh. Oh, little ankle pass right there. Ball goes out of bounds. Bedford ball. That's, I don't know if they've got, gotten many offensive rebounds tonight at all, but that time they had three offensive rebounds. They had four shots at the hoop. Yeah, if that happens again, Coach Thomas will we'll, uh, pull them aside for a little talk. Look at that, McKenzie with position there. Going to the line, shooting two. Just a complete mismatch there. She knew it, too. So if Bedford, say an opponent were to get a technical foul, who would Bedford put on the line? Who's their best free throw shooter? There's of the ones on the floor right the total, there? Total on the team, anybody. Oh, uh, I think it would be Haley Driscoll or uh, maybe Collins. maybe Nikki too she maybe no, Rachel she, Collins yeah they, they got, got a lot of they got a lot <laughs> yeah you're right I, I probably don't know to be honest with you <laughs> you've been around the team so much that I figured you wouldn't know yeah more than me but I, I, there's three to me there's three or four free I mean that's yeah. a great time because oh, Mackenzie's right. a great free throw shooter too yeah. so I, I think uh, okay. and the, I think that's the type of thing that coach would use that as like a momentum or a flow thing you know yeah. based upon okay. But how yeah, the game yeah. was going. They might pick a different one every different yeah. nights. Look at this, Mike. They're back to their 2 2 1. Oh, no, is it? Mm, nope. Uh, yeah, they're looking to trap. No, they're just in man to man. Full court man. Just kind of showing a little pressure. Oh, Rachel Collins jumped the passing lane. Yeah, there's only, right now, I think Bedford knows there's probably only two girls that are going to finish. You know, you know, in you know, in transition anywhere we, or with the ball. Yeah, that was a kind of an invert. And I think she uh, got her. I think Allie Glenn got, got her. Yeah, Brittany her. DeRoche, the six foot one senior, kind of poked her in the eye right now. This could be a long fourth quarter with Bedford with five fouls and North with six. There's going to be a lot of shooting. I think I kind of caught her nose or something. Looks like she grabbed her nose. She looks fine. A tough kid. That's a nice low dribble. Got two, three guys with that. I don't know if I'd recommend that, but she can do it. Yeah, you got pushed. Yep, right. now we go to the line with six minutes and 34 seconds to go. Haley Driscoll, who was a perfect four for four for the line today, will be shooting one and one. She doesn't know it yet, though. All right, let's put a little pressure on you. Want to have a bet if she makes this or not? Uh, I, I think the chances are she is. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> I wouldn't want to bet against her. Uh-oh. No, yeah, right there, there was no uh-oh. Uh -oh. I know right that there. arc. That's yeah. still automatic. It is a little different angle than we had down there.
I think, uh, a little rim on that one. I think we did as good a job jinxing her as possible, uh, and she still yeah. made a bow, so <laughs> I, don't, I don't think she's going to miss that. <laughs> six for six, a perfect six for six from the line. See, that, that, that cross court or mid court uh, transition pass, that's what they need to do, move it back and forth a little bit. Now well, they got a nice one. Who was that? Was that There's Brittany? Brittany DeRoche, yep, the six foot one senior. That's really about the yeah. first shot she's taken, though. She just must not yeah, like her offense, though. No, she hasn't. Rachel Collins going to the rim. Oh, yeah, nice Here's recovery the there. I'm surprised McKenzie oh, didn't Kelly take that. Went. There, That's an easy one, huh? Yep, just good on something. McKenzie is sure. a great shooter, but she's also a very good passer. Outstanding good passer. passer. Yeah. I, I don't know if she's going to end up playing college ball, but if she does, that's whatever college coach gets her, That's, that's they're going to appreciate that as much as anything. I mean, it's hard to find kids that size that can yeah. pass like that. Nikki Tucci playing the passing lane. You got the trailer coming. I don't know. Have you heard? Is she going to play? I don't. I haven't you know, asked I, uh, Bobby. Yeah, I mean, I think there, she has options out there. Oh, I know she has yeah, options. She has that's options for sure. There. But I mean, but, I didn't yeah. know if she was going to do it or not. From three, Mackenzie Brown. No, that's just a mismatch. Oh, yeah, she got fouled. That's the call. Yeah, that, that's that foul. The five foot ten Allie Glennon fouled by the. Five foot five, Kara Upton. I think that's a generous five foot five. So this yeah, is and it's, it's a conservative five ten. I think yeah. Ellie's taller than that too. So on the bench, we've seen Caroline Conrad, Courtney O'Connell, um, not get a lot of minutes today. So, and um, also Letty Hibbert. So you're wondering when Coach is going to clear the bench here right now. Yeah, I'm always uh, always a little uh, surprised if I see. Courtney over there in this situation, it'd be a good chance to get her out and let her run yeah. the floor. And uh, she's a good player, really athletic, and got good skills. Just going to need some time. Yeah, having your starters in right now, it's kind of the point. You got to get them some work because you know you have a lot of these games. So they've worked hard, they've earned their minutes. But now you can. I think we're going to see them oh, playing the passing lane again. They've you hit on this, Mike. They've just kind of um, the lefty layup and one. 59-29. I think that is the point where Coach Thomas is going to get her players in right now. When you're up by 30 right now. No, it's a double, too, right? Yeah, they doubled them up, yeah. and then one. Here comes Caroline Cameron, who was a starter last year. Um, seems to have accepted her role this year. There's one sub coming in. Yeah, I might want to clear the bench here. Be honest yeah, with you. it's it's time to clear it right now. You know, maybe there's something else they want them that coach is looking for them to work on, and maybe they're trying to use these minutes for that. Oh, they yeah, knocked nice down shot. a shot. I got to give her a shot. Um, that was that's Catherine McInerney. McInerney. Yep. Yeah. She has five a nice foot five senior. That's a nice stroke. We haven't seen. Is she. She has a nice smooth yeah, release. Yeah, nice I'm, I, I'm kind of uh, upset that she hasn't done anything else. Uh, nice there's a good follow. I, I know that release. That little jump shot. Yep. She's yeah. got a nice high release right there. Good spin and a lot of follow through. There he is. Fight for the rebound. She got oh. <laughs> <laughs> the refs were looking for each other. Coach Olive is trying to help him out. Both, both Nikki and uh, Kendall from North were fighting for the, the loose uh, yeah, look air ball. Yeah. Looks like Kendall fouled out, I guess. Did she foul out or did they just? I don't think so. I think they just sub her. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, she looked mad like she did, but could have been just. She got the call. There's a jump ball, possession arrow to Nashville North. Checking in for Bedford will be Gabrielle Hunter, number 24. She's played very well in her minutes on the floor today. Bedford still picking up full court. You can just see North has gotten worn out. That's one thing that that's one thing that Bedford, when they do get a close game, a little give and go. There's we talked about. Oh. Uh, you got to get yourself. You got to establish yourself on the court before you can play the ball coming from out of bounds. Once see, again, that's see, McKenzie. they called Nikki coming back in, but I thought she got both feet in. Didn't I don't you? think she did. She had to get that. I don't think that back foot got down first. So you got to get your feet in, and then you can wow. play the ball. Okay. It really looked like you had plenty of space there, but yeah, it is. She did have 62 to 31. So you know, if it's anything close, you're probably not getting it. No, you're not. Two shots. This girl has a promising future, Mike. Desi Akori. Yeah. And she showed some athleticism. Good touch from the line, too. 
There you go. Good call. You, you didn't jinx her or anything. That was nice. No, I'm not trying to. <laughs> <laughs> no, she has smooth enough release. I'm sure she's real confident in it. They all get that at different times, different ways. But um, So we understand that Coach Thomas is uh, going to be able to have some time after the game to do a post-game interview. Maybe that's something you can handle, Mike? Um, I can if you want. I thought maybe you were going to handle right. it. Okay, we'll, we'll talk to our... Uh, <laughs> Look at that, from three. <laughs> there we go. Well, Taylor that's Taylor's first. Taylor's, that's that, her first one. And that one looked shot. like it would go in, you know, you know, from 30% of the time. That was a good-looking stroke right there. Hey, she could really be, good looking she stroke. could be an excellent shooter that we're oh, just, yeah. you know, we're catching on a bad night. She we don't really know because we don't watch yeah. this guy's play every day. The length so. of Bedford and, you know, forcing her to rush the shots. Um, but that was a good release. That was excellent. Yeah, I remember her and her sister, though, from last year. They did an excellent job of penetrating. Uh, drawing contact, making dish moves, but they were mostly internal dish moves. I don't remember a lot of kickouts even last year, and I think that's something that if they can put together the shooters, it's something that they could improve their team with, at least one or two. I mean, this is, you know, this team, we've seen BG, I, I, I think that they have, you know, maybe a little bit deeper than BG. BG was not a very deep team. Obviously, they had Jamie, who was the reigning Gatorade player of the year, um, but these t this team, North, seems like they can match up with them with the quick guards. Um, I, we haven't seen London there yet, but I, I think those are probably your top four teams right there, and I think North is, is going to get better. Seems like a very well-coached team, and even though they're getting blown out here. Uh, they're still hitting the floor. They're playing hard. They yeah. really are. Yeah. I think it might be the haves and have-nots just like last year. Last year was Bedford and BG. This year it's probably going to be Bedford and London Derry. So right now, this is a team that we will see for the next two years on the court, except for Caroline Conrad. So you have Bree Purcell running the point, Nikki Tucci playing the two, and then kind of the four or five is uh, Courtney O'Connell and Gabrielle Hunter right now. It's North still playing hard. Yeah. Bree just put herself yeah. in a bad spot right there. Jump ball goes to Bedford. Yeah, Courtney and Gabby playing. will probably alternate the three and the four. I'm not sure how they'll handle the center position, of course. Nikki and Bree are the, you know, yeah. certainly the backcourt. I don't think that's pretty well a given. Yep. So that's a foul. Um, to Coach Oliver and his team's credit, you know, under three minutes to go, down by 26 points. They're still playing hard right now. So Caroline Kyron's going to go to the line shooting two. Yeah, I think that's always important as a coach when you're in your, your games where you're on the the weekend of a, of a little bit of a trouncing that you, you have the kids play hard and still work their game. You know, we don't have official stats, but I think that Bedford is at 90% from the line tonight. Another Caroline Conrad step in the line, hitting all net. Yeah. She's got a high arcer. Whoa. <laughs> She's got a high arcer, but yeah, uh, she'll like surprise you. She makes a lot of shots and much. It, seems like it, a, it doesn't look like, it maybe doesn't look that pretty, but makes it a lot. Yeah, it looks like it's a good rotation on the ball, but it just seems oh, like yeah. when you put that much arc, your margin for error is that much greater. Yeah. Starts a little low on it, but uh, you know, you know, so it's hard to even get off. But I'll tell you, when you leave her open and she gets her shot off, she makes a lot of them. Just coordinated kid, good athlete. The runner N one. That was it. We were we were both staring at it. You know? Is that Catherine McInerney again? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's she's put some. You know, a good the, little effort here in the fourth quarter. I was watching the defense there. Uh, the, the help defense wasn't the same wasn't as the same. starters. Yeah. Well, they're not as long, not as big, and probably just don't anticipate as well. But, um, yeah, when you look at that length of that Bedford team, six foot one, McKenzie, Brown, Allie Glennon, Haley Driscoll, that's big, and they're long. There we go. We're coming back the other way there. Don't You don't have to rush. You don't have to be in a big hurry. It's easy to, though, you know, you get get excited, adrenaline's yep. pumping, and you're playing hard, and it's easy to want to move. Kara Upton with the ball. She likes that left corner a lot. Yeah, she does a good job of looking off her defender and looking around and making the floor player. Here's Catherine again. <laughs> Courtney yeah. with the leaps. The freshman. Oh, good, good use of, really that, good use of her body there. Yeah, is that, uh, yep, that's Abigail Streeter, the 5'10 yeah. freshman. Throw, center forward. Throw, throw that that play in with a reasonable head fake, and you, you would it would have been an and one. 
See what her stroke is like from the line. Wolf, yeah. Not bad. No, let's like see a little more rotation on it. Yeah. Yeah, just move it out on her fingertips a little bit more. Should be okay. And not He's a youngster. Second one. She'll yeah. pick it up. Another girl with potential. So 63-39, 24-point lead for the Bulldogs with under two minutes to play in the fourth quarter. I like how Bree uh, really changes her, her speeds and directions there. You know, really controls the balls that's coming up the floor, and, and it's her decision what's going to happen next, as opposed to pushing it. The freshman handling the ball. She wants the three. Yeah, going to take it. <laughs> Why not, right, when you're down by 25 yeah. points? Yeah, they call that blue? Hard. Yeah, they're okay. playing hard. I, I yeah, must I, have hit Courtney's I, hands then, because I don't I, didn't really see that, but sometimes the refs have a tendency to ref to score. You know that, that does happen, all sports. Yeah, yeah. There's that's no getting around that. <laughs> all leagues, all sports. Another three for Abigail. No. That's a good little pick and roll, but missed it. I'm sure that I'm sure penetrating is not her normal position. Let's see. There goes Bree. Bree can draw the foul here. She's good at that. She's oh. had a few of those in and outs today. I'm surprised she missed that, really. She usually makes that. That's a She is very even, good around, Even with yeah. somebody hanging on her. She does a really she good job good with those, that. Yeah. But uh, Have Abigail was Letty with the follow there. And yeah, Letty's, put Letty's it got back. a nice touch. She's got good size, yeah. good touch. Probably hit the weight room next year. She'll be a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. Round out that starting five for next year. Got that, got those quick, long legs. And uh, trying to think, what year is she? Is she a junior? Uh, Letty? Is a junior, yes. A junior, okay. So to set the stage, under a minute to go, we have Bedford leading 65-39 in another, you know, a, a much more competitive game than than it looked like it, it could have been from from the start. You know, when you fall behind eight nothing, twelve two, they 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 played, I think, as much as North North's played hard all game. <laughs> Well, once again, we've seen Bedford just play in spurts. And when they want to play, you know, they put on a show. I mean, it's, it's kind of just they turn turnovers into points quickly. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I mean, if you think back to your original comment on how they play in streaks or spurts, mm -hmm. I think of a, maybe a 12 spot at the beginning, and then there was beginning of the second half, there was an 8 or 10 point type spot. That's most of the lead, really. The rest of it's fairly equivalent. So it doesn't feel like a 26-point game, but it is. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's see what Bedford will do here with 45 seconds to go. Caroline Conrad bringing the ball up. Could have been a reach there. Yeah. Catherine McInerney playing yeah. hard to the final. And a little kick. Oh, look, oh, look away. Did uh, you see that? Yeah, it was. It's a look away kick for an open open jumper. Just go up. So Caroline's still playing huff, tough D there at the end. Hard D. That's the way. Everybody loves to see that. Inbounds, Nashua North. 25 seconds to go. Oh, four stats. You're yeah, taking that jumper, that. huh? Let's see if Bedford just runs this clock out right here. I. Uh, yeah, I think they are. <laughs> yep. 15 seconds to go. Nashua North still playing hard. Take the air out of the ball there. There we go. Now, no more fouls by North. I don't know your opinion on that, but when you pass it around like a keep away, it almost makes the other team look worse. You'd be better off just <laughs> if you're trying. Like that. <laughs> yeah, just take the shot. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think I, sometimes I agree. it like, makes them worse than if you just took a shot and made another couple points. Well, my pleasure working with you. Yeah, uh, I enjoyed it, Chris. the team. Um, once again, another very strong performance from the Bedford Bulldogs. They moved to 4-0. Uh, and on the Division One season, Nashua North falls to three and two. Yeah, I think, uh, and we're going to try to catch Sue Thomas for a few words with a post-game interview. On the camera, Mike Courier, Mike McGowan, Chris Cameron. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you. About what? Merrill. Merrill. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I'll have you got to do. Uh, you do the. Uh, I, I, we, we might head over. So, uh, I don't. We're very fortunate to have head coach Sue Thomas with us after Bedford defeated Nashua North today. Coach, um, just to sum up the performance real quick. Uh, gritty. They worked really hard today. This, this win, we won by a good amount, but it didn't come easy, and that's what we needed. And 
and it, it was a great win for us, actually. One thing that we talked about on air is that your team, you play in spurts. When, when you yeah. come out, you start out 8-0, 12-2, you overwhelm teams. What's the challenge to keep them to play 32 minutes that way? You know, it's, I think, well, other teams figure us out, you know, and we're playing good teams, but it, it's just hard to maintain that level. We, they want to, they try to, it's something we've been working on, and that's what, like, our goals are just to play a complete game, because you go up, when you do go up by a lot, there's kind of that natural, take it easy, this is going to be easy, and then all of a sudden the other teams start coming back. So we actually have some defensive goals that we work on. We didn't meet one today, but it's okay because we won the game. But it, it seemed like they were able to get to the rim tonight on you. Yeah, uh, and well, that, they're a great team. They're, they're very quick. I thought if they could have knocked down a few shots, it could have been a different game. Are, are they a good shooting? Uh, is that a they're, Actually, they're usually a very good shooting team, and I do think the fact that we come out so fast and so hard and pressing, it sometimes takes other teams out of their natural flow. I watched the North play Wednesday night, and even though the teams were breaking, they were able to get more into a flow and they were hitting their outside shots. So I do think that's a good part of it is just playing, really coming out and stressing defense. We don't stress going up by 10 points right away. It's more shut them down and get breaks, get them running, and now they're out of breath and they can't, their shots. And you certainly have balance and you have depth and more we than have, <laughs> yeah. like I can, uh, yeah. We have a lot of depth. We can go big, we can go small, you know, we can have all kinds yeah, of people. That, that's a great luxury for a coach to have. Luxury. Now, you know, you're, you're probably going to be the top seed coming in. Who would you say are the other three well, teams to be in the final four? Like, well, like Londonderry London, and that's, us, that's, I mean, that game, we play them, I believe it's February 19th. We match up perfectly. That's going to be a battle. They have the point guard. In, in, oh, they so have it all. They well, all. they have Eliza Simpson, who's probably the one of the best point guards in the state. She's going to UNH next year. They have big, they have small, and they're deep. They're just like us. We know them, they know us, and and that's going to be a big game. So, and so I London would say okay. that if things go well, but you never know. We, sh I mean, the projections are we would finish one, two, but you can't really say which order that would be in. I think North is going to be around. They're a gritty, gutsy team. Uh, Winnicott, it's a good team. They played North the other day and. North beat them, but it was a good game. So you and know, I think Londonderry beat when it it big by like 30 or 40. Yeah. That, so that, so well, there we have it. There's a lot of games before that Londonderry matchup, and I'm sure oh, you want to you want to get better each game, each practice. Uh, one so. game at a time. We play That's Alvern it. next week. They're a good team. So yeah, one game at yep. a time. Well, yep. thanks for joining us, Coach, great. and have a great you. season. Thanks. Wow, wow.